What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood Slip Gator here, and we are hanging out today, doing stuff and things, playing some more Subnautica Below Zero. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Welcome back to another episode of Subnautica Stuff and Things. Arctic Peeper, let's go team. Thanks so much for coming to hang out with me today, guys. We're going to cook up some food here. Drink some hot water stuff and things. Then we're going to be on our way. Dude, what? Colleague data PDA, special stuff and things tools. You know what else is going on in this game right now? Whenever you log in, I think it's under keyboard. The sensitivity is not saving. Let's put it at seven. Feels better, man. Feels a lot better. Holy crap, man. So anyway, thanks for coming to hang out with me, guys. Welcome back. Make sure if you like what you see today, don't forget to show your support and smash the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more stuff and things. All right, so we got it at 10. Seven was too low. So remember in the last episode, we were on the hunt for gel sacks, and we have found them. Also, let me see here. Under metal, do we have lead? We do. We're going to need to make a foundation, which we can. And then on top of that, we're going to need some more stuff and things. So we're going to need to grab a little bit of titanium here, like so and like so. In the last episode, we were trying to get our water situation under control. So over here is where I think we're going to set up a little bit of a farming area. Now, we are going to go ahead and do that with... Wait, what? No, nope. incorrect. A foundation here, like so. Oh, yeah. And we are going to start to do... Where is it? Where is our you? Interior grow bed? No, we want exterior grow bed. Where are you? There we go. Right there, baby. Exterior grow bed. We're going to plant one right over here, like so. We're going to plant another guy right over here like so. And if you're wondering how we have stuff and things in the game, remember, we used cheaty cheat code to unlock the stuff and things. Because I want to play Subnautica Below Zero, and I can't do it without having some stuff in the game. So with these guys here, we can go like that. Let's go ahead and maybe take a couple of these guys and harvest them up. Like so. And then we can use all of these seeds to get more stuff and things going. So we've planted all the seeds. Can you see them yet? Wait, what? <gasps> Dude, what just happened? Did they make it so you can't plant these? I'm super confused right now. No way, dude. Did I... Wait, what just happened? Wait, oh, I dropped them. What are you, stupid slip gator? You just dropped them all. I hit the wrong button. LOL! All right, so we want to switch container. There we go. Like so. So we got to have these guys grow. We're going to pick up that gel sack right there. And then we're going to pop over here. All right, so the whole idea, remember, that was that we were trying to make this guy right here. Where are you? To water purifier. Nuclear rod, bioreactor, right there. Water filtration. So we need copper, wire, and aerogel. Let's go ahead and grab... Two copper, and then for the aerogel, we're going to need... Oh, we have it. One ruby. Already in our inventory. Nailed the ace to cave and stopped. Pop it up over here. Copper wire. So now we have the stuff and things that we need in order to make the water filtration, the water system. But we don't have enough power. So we're going to need this as well. Lubricant and a wiring kit. Let's go ahead and check our mats. We have lubricant. Metal? No. Silver? Two, I think. Bam, 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 electronics wiring kit. And now we will start to be able to have stuff and things. Let's pop over here. Let's go like so. Let's get the bioreactor up and running. That's going to take our power from 150 up to 650. He's done it. All right. And then over here, we're going to end up, I do believe, placing two of these guys. We're going to place one guy over here. All right, feels good. But we're going to have to wait. Oh, base drink seven. Okay, we're going to have to wait a little bit for our water to come. That thing's going to make salt for us first. And then while we're waiting for our fuel to begin with, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab some creep vines. So that's just what we're going to use because it's an inexpensive way to get a little bit of fuel into the bioreactor to start with here. It's also a renewable resource. We can grow it. So over here, there's fish in the base. What? Let's go over here. Bam, 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 and bam. Active. So we are now actively creating power stuff and things. I think we also should probably put up some more solar maybe. Yeah, two more solar wouldn't hurt. So in addition to those things happening over there, I feel like here. 
Let's grab three creep vine. We'll pop back over to this area. And then over here, we will two, three, plant three of those guys. And then we're going to pop back over and we're going to look for seed clusters. I think actually what we'll do here is grab one more creep vine. And two creep vine seeds. And we'll plant these guys. So these guys will grow and we'll be able to use this as a power system. Now, it's not the creep vines, it's not the most efficient thing to use for power, but it's better than nothing. And it, like I said, it's a renewable resource. So these guys growing gel sack 38%. Let's talk about two more solar panels. We have the things we need in order to make that happen uh, two copper, four titanium, and four quartz. So one, two, three. No! We're out of resources. So we can get two of those guys. Another quartz. And then are we G's? We're good. So we can at least get three of these guys going. And that'll be another little boost to our power system over here. Like so and like so. Making it... I want to get it nice. Oh, there's the perfect spot. There it is. He's done it. Look how well aligned it is. Freaking solar panelologist. There. Okay, so we have power. Dude, we've solved so many problems. We're only like, it's only been like five minutes. So freaking efficient. So this guy's making power for us. You can see it's on the rise, which is good because we are using this right here to make stuff and things happen. So filtration process is at 19%. The salt's at 38%. The power is still going up. I think when we make two of them, it won't. So what I've got to do now is go ahead and start to gather up some resources. We need a lot of titanium um, and just whatever else we can find over here. We're going to wait for these guys to grow. And that will be our bees, peeps. A uh, beautiful day. Also, in case you were wondering, these icebergs look a little different. That's right. There was actually a like a micro update to stuff and things. And one of the things they changed. Whoa, dude. That wasn't always that way, I don't think. Was it? Oh, wait, I think it was. I said uh, before, there was one of these icebergs. I said it looked like a tooth. So they did add this stuff up here, if we can get on. A little bit of depth, a little bit of height and altitude to some of the plants that are here, or some of the icebergs that are here, the ice flows. Um, look less flat. Transitions better to snow is what they added. The changes here. They also reduced the oxygen gain from the Titan whole fish from 100 to 30, and they increased the Titan whole fish regen, oxygen regen time, to 40 seconds um and they made a couple other dis different little changes alien cave materials now blend better with surrounding ice supply drops may now be used while falling removed crash fish spawns outside of the sanctuary stuff and things like that over at the thermal spires i think they reduced aggro uh spawns of stuff and things over there too also do we happen to have anything in any of these storages we do not I'm just making sure let's go ahead and Pick them up. I know I didn't check the other one, but I'm, I know it's empty. So we'll pop over here. Our stuff and things have grown. Welcome Let me show you guys. Captain. Uh, Let's go over into this locker here. Those guys can go there like so. We have our arrow gel. It's ready to rock and roll for more stuff and things. I have gathered up more materials, but here you can see beautiful arrow gel and creep vine stuff and things and creep vine seed cluster stuff and things have all been created. Now, if you'll remember, before we were so rudely interrupted by the inability to have materials, two of these guys, two of these guys, and one of these guys equals another solar panel. Let's pop out of here, like so. Go ahead and grab this guy, and then per placing it perfectly. Pretty close. No, it's not. Oh, God, no. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. It's not okay. That is not okay, Slipgator. You got this, buddy. You can do this. Okay, it's a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. This looks pretty close to perfect. It's pretty close. It's a little bit tilted to the left, but I'll take it. All right, four solar panels now, equaling 800 power, and our power is on the rise. So again, if we're gonna go, want to go ahead and make another one of these guys, we need three titanium, copper wire, and arrow gel. So I hope I have another ruby. Three titanium. Bam, bam, organics. Dude, do I have another ruby? Mats. Dude. Are we seriously out of rubies? No! 
Why, cruel world? This is a terrible disaster. Oh, I wanted to make a second one of those so bad. So, if we're popping back inside of here, we can make the copper wire right now. But inside of there, the aerogel is going to take the gel sack and a ruby. Now, the rubies are back. There's a couple different places you can find them, I think. Welcome aboard, Captain. Hmm. How about we do this? Before we go on our adventure, there's a couple other things that I think we really need to get in to our base here. So <clears throat> what I'm going to go ahead and do, let's check these lockers. I don't think we have anything in them. So I'm going to go ahead and deconstruct these. And then we need to start getting some technology here. Copper wire and a wiring kit. So let's grab metal out of here, two silver. Make that wiring kit. And we are about to take a huge technological leap forward, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready for this? Right here. Bam. Battery charging technology. It's amazing. Pop over here like so. Get inside of there. Dead batteries for days. Also, under organics, we have... Oh, we don't have anything to make another one. So, I'd like to keep one battery in my inventory here for a backup. And I'd love to have... <coughs> pardon me. I'd love to have four in here. So, we're going to need to make another battery. Uh, I also would love to make a power cell charger. That's going to take rubies in an advanced wiring kit. So, the advanced wiring kit right here needs a wiring kit, two gold, and a computer chip. So that would be, that's one gold. There's two gold. There's two silver. A computer chip is gold, copper wire. Dude, this is so expensive. I don't think I have any table coral. Wow, you guys. Hmm, interesting. I think what we're going to have to do here is squirt our titanium back inside of here for now. Metal. No, we'll put this in organics right there. So we have a lot of stuff and things to do. At least we got this guy going right now. Let's go see if we've got water yet. Oh, yeah, baby. No. Oh, no, baby. We just made one salt. Ugh. So water filtration progress, 84%. Once there's two salt in here, we'll leave it in, and it will only make water for us. So we should be G's. And let's double check on what's going on with our bioreactor. It's already burned through two creep vine because it's working hard. It's working quite hard. I'd love to, I think I'm going to go to the interwebs and I'm going to check and see. Can we put seeds in there? I wonder what the most efficient thing is. Uh, I don't really remember. I think that blood oil is the best thing to put in, but we, had, we don't have that in the game. So I'm wondering if the creep vine seed clusters will be better. Doesn't really tell us inside of here. Um, I can go to the net and take a look real quick and see if somebody's posted something to tell us what's up. But in order to get to the next stage of doing stuff and things, which is going to be another or the power cell charger uh, and making um, another water filtration machine, we're going to need to go out and get some more rubies, some other stuff and things. So I'm going to go ahead and start. Uh, before we go, I'm going to need to get some water. Then we're going to head out and get some rubies. I'll do all that stuff and things, peeps, and I will BRB. And we're back at base with a huge haul. I got a huge haul, ladies and gentlemen. Dude, did you see that Arctic Peeper just do a whirly deal? He just did a spirally whirly deal. Check it out, peeps. All the stuff and things. Silver, gold, diamonds, rubies, magnetite, lead, copper. He's done it. Squirt all these guys inside of here. Into our metal. We are putting our copper and our lead uh, into this. We're putting all of this. And then organics, we need like rare, rare materials, like diamonds, rubies, magnetite. Okay, so now under, no, not mats, organics, we're going to pop this guy in. We're going to go ahead and make our aerogel. All right, he's done it. Now, what else are we going to need to make it? Copper wire and titanium. So wait a second. I thought I already made some copper wire. That I squirted somewhere. I still gotta make another battery too. Okay. Let's grab a out of here a few titanium for building. Wrong deal, pardon me. Uh, and then <laughs> we should be good to go here. 
Yeah. All right. Copper wire. Let's go ahead and make that guy. Like so. All right. So our power is at 719, 718, 719. It's just holding at, at, at where it's at. Let's go over here. Water. Oh, delicious water. Okay. And then... All right, so now if we pull this out of here. Ooh, power levels are dropping. Ooh, this is not good. You know what I didn't do either? I didn't go look to see what we could put in here that would be the best. But power levels are definitely dropping. This is no bueno. Hmm. Well, it's night. And during the day, I don't think we'll have a problem with it. At night, we're going to because we don't have solar stuff and things going on. Um, the biggest question, I guess, is will it run us out of power before the day comes. That's going to be our biggest question. So we're going to squirt that guy inside of there. And then let's go ahead and take a look at making this guy right now. Advanced wiring kit. So, oh, table coral. Crap, I didn't get any, man. Ooh. All right, hold on. Table coral in this game is actually kind of difficult to find. You have to be a little bit... Hmm. Can't remember if there's like a specific spot. Also, dark... The nighttime in this game is ridiculously dark. Like, so dark. I think we could go to the... Down inside of here. We should be able to find some stuff and things. Dude, there's crystal for days. Let's go ahead and grab some. And I saw something over here real quick. Dude, there's so many resources. It's crazy. It's so much different than old Subnautica in that, like... Used to be when you wanted to get stuff... Normally, especially metal, there's a table coral right there. Uh, you would go out to find metal salvage, which isn't in this game. That one? Seriously? Seriously? Just one? Let's head down this way a little bit, because I'm hoping that we can find some of the battery plants, too. Oh, we're in a weird area. I don't think we're going to find any table coral over there. We have to go back over to the, the twisted bridges here. So there's more titanium. Do, do we even have space for all this stuff? Grab this guy. This guy. Titaniums. Where were you? This guy. We've got to keep space for four things. Oh, we got plenty of room. We got plenty of room. Dude, we're going to have resources for days, except for the ones that we need. All right, let's hold off and just look for the table coral. Let's pop back over here to grab our steam off. I really wanted to get a, a lot more stuff done today, but resource gathering is stopping me. It's stopping me in my track. Keep your eyes peeled, ladies and gentlemen. Keep your eyes peeled. Just done it. Give me more than one. Two. Dude, I can't. I'm not going to be able to fit it all. Dude, there's two more pieces. Dude, I need these pieces so bad. Uh, we're dropping two titanium. Okay, where'd they go? Right there. Let's make sure we're getting our table coral. All right, so we found a bunch of stuff and things. We have now all the table coral. I got a couple of ribbon plants so we can make another battery. And a bunch of other materials as well. So we should be pretty geez. Um, After we get done setting up the base, where are we even going? I really want to get a moon pool going, and I feel like moving forward also, we should probably make the prawn suit. Um, I'm not sure what the depth modules on the sea moth allow us to go down to, what the maximum depth is, but I do believe it's not even close to what we can do in the prawn suit. Um, and we really want to explore a little bit deeper. So either way, we'll be able to build depth module. I think there's one for the sea moth, and we can get it going for the prawn suit as well. So we'll have all those things that we can get going here. It's going to be unbelievable and amazing. Okay, so now. Pop it side of here. Right over there like so. Squirt that last battery in. Popping over here like this. Making a new battery. All right, feels good team. Now, we were trying to get to, if you'll remember, before so rudely interrupted, advanced wiring kit. So with the advanced wiring kit, we're going to need a wiring kit. And we're going to need a computer chip, which means we need copper wire and gold. So, do we have the stuff and things? No. Okay. Pop over here. Let's 
copper wire. And then one gold deal. Computer chip. Uh, and then two more gold. Advanced wiring kit. And now, ladies and gentlemen, hot power cell charging stuff and things. Oh my god. All right. So now, with we have, now that we have the power cell charger, we're going to need at least one additional power cell. Um, that means more ribbon plants. So let's pop over like so. Let's drop these guys. Drop these guys. Copper. Silver. Did I see something misplaced here? I certainly did. Pardon me. And then under organics, let's put all of our table coral. And then under rare, let's squirt our last ruby. And then under titanium, put these guys like so. All right, so in order to make the power cells, which are here, we're gonna need four batteries. I, eh, do we need two extra power cells? Yeah, might as well. Four batteries and two silicon rubber. So, let's see here. Silicon rubber, I do believe. You just pop over here like this. Let's just grab a bunch. Dude, that's a huge amount. Feels good team. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you, Brenda. No! Crap. Fiber mesh. I thought it was... Uh, well, let's make it. Alright, so... We'll go ahead and get some fiber mesh over here. But thankfully, we've thought ahead. grab as many of these guys as we can. And what I want to check really quickly is, do we have lubricant in there too? We do have two of those. Let's make some silicone rubber. We're going to have a bunch of it now. Make a little bit more lubricant. And it looks like our power system, if you've been paying attention, is barely holding on. Dude, we have so much stuff and things now. All right, all right. Let's go ahead and squirt all these guys inside of here. Okay, so the power system is basically barely holding on. Let's check how our water situation is. More water. Nailed it. Okay, stop. Not quite there yet. We're still making salt. Let's check on our bioreactor deal. Ooh, we need to put more stuff and things in there. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Our power problems have been solved. I scoured the internet looking for a list of fuels for the bioreactor. Um, I looked for maybe five minutes. I didn't really scour. I actually didn't find much. I found information saying that reefback babies were the best or Reginalds were the best. A lot of fuels that we really can't effectively farm here in below zero. I decided to try gel sacks, and they seem to be working pretty good. Uh, I have a bunch of extra that I've already crafted up. It's like a completely renewable resource for us. It's so easy to make these. So when we're out over here, are any of these grown? I just harvested a bunch. Are they, are they G's? No, they're at 76%. So I just ended up harvesting a bunch of these. So all you got to do is just gather one seed from one, harvest it. One seed from one, harvest it. One seed from one, harvest it. And then you can just replant the entire thing completely free. I also added... Four new solar panels. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I did a little bit of research gathering. So we got all of those guys, GTG. Board, Feels good, team. Oh, crap. You know what I didn't get? We'll have to work on it later. I didn't grab the stuff and things in order to make the a new power cell. I'm not going to bother to do that right now. Um, I'm kind of amazed at these gel sacks. I put these in a, in a while ago. They don't seem to be being used up, like, way faster than anything else we've found. And it looks like our power situation now. Hold on. 73, 70, 72. Hmm. 
So we got up all the way to 1100 where we were at there. It looks like it's kind of holding steady now. It's probably going to start going down when it gets dark, but it should be good. We should be GTG. So, uh, yeah, moon pool. Let's talk about it. So we got to get a moon pool going. Right there it is. We need lubricant and two lead. Pop over here under metal, two lead. Remember we made a bunch of lubricant we didn't need? Yeah, we need it now. All right, so that guy's over there. And I do believe that I have placed my initial foundation in such a manner that, yes, yes, in fact, yes. Oh, yeah, look at this, babe. I'm calling the chat babe again. Here we go. Moon pool stuff and things. Nailed the ace. that can't be stopped. And we only have one weird derpy leg. Oh, my God, you guys. When can we, can we get a toggle legs command, please? But look at this guy. You guys ready? Let's try it out. Welcome aboard, Captain. Hey, how's it going? Oh, pardon me. Sorry. Excuse me. Pardon me. My fault. Oh, it's going to flip me around forward. Oh, yeah. What? We're still underwater. What the crap? This can't be real. Okay, now we're underwater. Okay. Are we underwater now? Okay, now we're not underwater. And if we pop in here, are we underwater now? Okay, now we're not underwater. Now if we go like this, and we go like this. Now we're not underwater. So is it only when you get out of the sea moth? This this requires testing, ladies and gentlemen. All systems online. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I, I, how is that a thing? How is it that Subnautica is in such a state? How would the moon pool here in below zero be any different than the moon pool in regular Subnautica? It just goes to show you, these guys got a lot of stuff and things that they're working on. Um, all right, so we said we wanted to try to make some stuff and things so we could go deeper. We're gonna need the vehicle upgrade console. If you didn't notice, I had already made a couple of titanium ingots and a computer chip. Now we're gonna need copper wire and three titaniums over here, like so. One, two, three. I think I got extra copper now. There we go, a couple of those guys. Bam, 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 and bam. Oh my God, he's done it. Popping up over here like so. And then where can we even put this guy? Please tell me we can put it somewhere. Okay, we can stick it there. That seems weird. I'd love it for it to be somewhere can't do it there. So we could do it. Oh, it stopped. It stopped. We could do it there. We could do it here. Can we do it on this side anywhere? Oh, that's the perfect spot. Oh my God, he's done it. Now we can rename it. Uh, Brenda? Brenda? Dude, did you say Brenda on the side now? Look at this, Brenda. It's so amazing. Okay, so this is the guy we really want to take a look at, though. Common modules, hull reinforcement, engine efficiency, storage module, sonar, depth module MK1, reinforced glass and titanium, perimeter defense, torpedo system, solar deal, and then that's the prawn suit depth module, and these guys. In order to make additional stuff and things, I think we're going to need to create, where are you? This guy here, the modification station. Lead, titanium, a diamond, and a computer chip. Which I do believe we have all those things. So, Brenda is docked. Oh my god, you guys. It's going to have to wait for the next episode. We're actually out of time for today. A lot of, like, base upkeep stuff and things today. You know what I mean? But I feel like we've made some huge advancements. Some huge leaps forward with our base building stuff. In Subnautica Below Zero. So I'll probably end up making a couple more of the power cell deals. Let's just check this again. Dude, it still hasn't used one. If you're playing below zero in the way that I am, where we're using some the GD stuff and things, um, I definitely would recommend using the gel sacks for power for your bioreactor. But yeah, guys, thanks for coming to hang out. That's going to be it for today. Make sure if you liked the video you saw and you had a good time, show your support, man. Helps me out. Smash the thumbs up button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. And huge shouts to everybody on patreon.com slash slipgator who helps to support stuff and things in these trying times here on YouTube. I appreciate your support, guys. I'll see you in the next stream, um, or I'll see you here on YouTube, and may the stuff and things be with you!